Woohoo! Whee! Whoa! Is everyone okay? Looks like we've got a little mishap here. But you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to learn something exciting. Today, we have a special treat for you. We'll learn all about Isaac Newton and his brilliant laws of motion. So, let's kick things off with Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia. This law states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. When a car starts moving, the person inside the car moves with the car. When the car suddenly stops, everything inside it wants to keep moving forward. Seatbelts help us stay safe by stopping us from moving forward too fast. Moving on to Newton's second law of motion, which deals with the relationship between an object's mass, acceleration, and the force applied to it. In other words, the bigger and heavier an object is, the more force is needed to get it moving. This is why it's easier to push a rubber ball than it is to push a bowling ball. And if you apply a greater force to an object, it will accelerate faster. Think of it like riding a bike, the harder you pedal, the faster you'll go. Finally, Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When one thing pushes or pulls another, the other thing pushes or pulls back in the opposite way with the same strength. For example, when you push a door, it pushes you back. This happens with toys like Newton's Cradle, where one ball hitting another makes the other ball move, and in games like Tug of War, where if one team pulls, the other team pulls back just as hard. Now that we've learned Newton's three laws of motion, let's take a look at some real-life examples. Newton's first law. A soccer ball will keep rolling on the field until it's kicked by a player. Newton's second law. It takes more force to push a heavy shopping cart than a light one. Newton's third law. When you jump into a pool, the ground pushes back on you, pushing you into the pool. Atlas, I think we should go check on your friend. Thank you for joining us on this educational adventure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining and informative content. And as always, stay curious and keep learning. See you in the next video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more fun and educational content.